you're looking at the Chevrolet Volt, which, while it is a technology story in electrification, it's also a bit of a of a electrification story relative to uh, the community and the engineering community when you think of all the different things that we're really doing here. While we work with our uh, cell partner, LG Chem, on cells and cell technology, we put those together in a battery pack that's been designed here in uh, inside General Motors mm -hmm. and built here in Brownstown, Michigan, nice. which is then sent up to our Detroit Hamtramck uh, vehicle assembly plant where the Volt is assembled. Um, we also get our uh, drive unit, which is an all-new design from our Warren transmission plant. So while we're electrifying the industry uh, for consumers in many ways, we're also electrifying the industry relative to where we do the work and where we build the products. I mean, Detroit has such a rich legacy history. I mean, some of the world's first vehicles were made here, you know, and so much of the industry is based around vehicle manufacturing. In a vehicle like this, what is the total weight of this vehicle here? Total weight here, we're in the 3,875-pound uh, test and, class. And how much uh, of that is battery? How much, what is oh, the weight of the batteries? Uh, the weight of the batteries in kilograms is 187 All right, so we kilograms. just times by 2.2, so it's yeah. like 400 pounds. So it's just a large amount. Yes. And the range on this vehicle? This vehicle will go 50 miles on a charge. 50 miles on a charge. And then, of course, it has an unleaded gasoline engine as well. Yes, and regular gasoline. Our smartphones, obviously, lithium ion, lithium polymer in some cases for more curved designs. Our MacBooks, our laptops, you know, this all lithium. But we're only getting 500 cells before we see significant degradation in terms of lifespan. So I had overheard the engineer discuss 6,000 cycles before things start to degrade. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Well, what Bill Wallace, our battery director, said was that while cell phones are set up uh, with a you know with a certain set of requirements what we use for an electric vehicle is very different cell phone when you think about it one of the most important things is size yeah, true. okay yeah. size today is very important while size is important also in the volt but but we actually have more room to work with yeah, and so more. we work with our cell supplier LG Chem again yeah. to get more like 6,000 cycles before we see yeah. significant degradation some, and, some, and that's just very important because consumers want something they know is going to last. Something I've always wondered about is why can't we have electric vehicles with a thousand or fifteen hundred mile range? What is it? Is it just the sheer size of the batteries and the weight? Pretty much the yeah. sheer size of the batteries, just like we were talking about before. In your cell phone, right? Yeah. It can be. It needs to be very small. In your car, it can be larger, but it can't be as large as the entire car. <laughs> I mean, we're always looking at things from a mobile technology standpoint. So, what kind of adaptations have we made here with the console and everything? Like, is there Android Auto enabled within it? And so, our car has both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in it. So whether you're an Apple user, an Android user, you should be able to link your phone in and it should work just fine. Wonderful. And uh, are you guys going to be making any apps available so that people can see diagnostic information or kind of stuff, you know, talk a little bit more about the mobile. More to mobile. come, more to come in more the future come? on okay. apps. All right, well, I want to say a big thanks to you for your time, sir. It's been okay. a real pleasure talking nice to you. Nice talking with you. That's cool.